Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome to my beauty stash. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for watching another one of my videos. You know the drill. Before we begin, make sure you click on that subscribe button and ring that bell so that you never miss one of my video uploads. Today we are talking all about Milani Cosmetics. Milani is definitely one of my favorite brands at the drugstore and I did a little mini Milani haul from Ulta last week. I picked up um, a couple new items that they had and one of them is the Milani Gilded Jewels eyeshadow palette. And let me show you what that looks like right here. As you can see, I am definitely wearing this palette right now. I also picked up uh, one of the new scents in the setting spray and the scent that I got is mango coconut. Um, I also picked up the corresponding lip balm in it as well. This is also mango coconut and I got the two new eyebrow products that Milani just released as well as the Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon and I had never tried the Milani Conceal and Perfect concealer before so I went ahead and picked one of these up and I also picked up another shade in the rose blush and this one is wild rose so guys let's dive into the application portion of today's video I am going to do my best to do all Milani today and whatever I don't have in Milani cosmetics I'll substitute it for a dr another drugstore brand product um, at the end of the application that's when I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts my review of these new Milani products that I picked up at Ulta Beauty all of the products that I'm going to use today will be linked in the description box down below so definitely make sure you check that out now before we begin the actual application process I'm going to insert a few photos that I did of the new products that I got just so you can see some of the swatches and what they're going to look like on a fair to light skin tone in natural lighting
All right, guys, so now that we're done with the application portion of today's video, it's time for final thoughts. And let's start first with the Milani Gilded Jewel Eyeshadow Palette. So in this Gilded Jewel Palette, you get 12 different shades, eight mattes, and seven shimmers, or I guess you can say pressed glitters. I thought that the color story was really nice. I love all of these shades. I love all of the tones. However, I didn't love the performance of it. Um, this eye right here gave me the most trouble blending out these three matte shades on the bottom. And the shade, which was Semi Precious, Emerald Envy, Family Jewels, for some reason, those, I just couldn't get the blend. This shade right here, brilliant. I don't know, guys. I placed it all over the eyelid, and you can't really even see it anymore. Um, I'm not really sure what happened this one tiara right here or tiara um, I have that in the inner corner and you can see that but it's not as intense as I was expecting so this eye is definitely not my favorite it did give me the most trouble I did enjoy using the shades and the shadows on this eye though um, the shade heirloom right here the brown one I thought that one blended out really well as did solitaire over here at the top I thought that one worked Worked really well and the crown this gold shimmer shade that one is really pretty and you can see that but you can also see a little bit it looks like it's kind of maybe fading away a bit I'm not too sure and I did have to spray the brush to really get that full pigment that full payoff um, I think the crown right here that one was the only one that I was able to just use my finger and the application was spot on so guys for $20 yeah I would just hold off maybe wait for it to go on sale if you're really wanting to get it um I thought that there was a lot I mean like it just seemed like there was more kick up with this palette than in the other ones that I've been trying recently. And I've been trying a lot of eyeshadow palettes recently, but this one did have a lot of kick up and I also experienced fallout, especially on this side. And some of it didn't want to come off. So I think if you're going to pick this palette up, you're definitely going to want to do your eyes first and then go in with your base. Or if you're like me, you just can't stand doing your eyes first, definitely pack on some powder right here so we can catch whatever fallout is going to occur. This is not my favorite Milani palette. I have others in my collection. I do love the color scheme though. That is the one thing that it has going for it. But for 20 bucks, I think you could definitely find something else a little bit cheaper that probably has more eyeshadows and has a better blend to it. So next I have the Fruit Fetish Lip Balm, and I picked up the flavor Mango Coconut. I don't think this was anything special. I mean, it's just like a lip balm, a lip gloss. Um, it does have a nice flavor to it, but I wouldn't go out of my way just to get this. I know I have a chapstick around my house that was a lot cheaper and does the same thing that this does. I just think it's a really cute like marketing concept, really cute packaging, but I definitely think you can find something a little bit cheaper, and I wouldn't say that this is really a necessity. What I did enjoy using from the Fruit Fetish line was this Make It Last setting spray. This is also in the flavor Mango Coconut, or this one I should say is in the scent Mango Coconut. Um, I've always enjoyed using the Milani um, setting spray. That is something that I currently have in my collection, and actually I'm almost out of it. So I'm getting this to replace that one, and I like that this has a nice, fresh scent to it. Milani spray does a great job of holding your makeup in place, and keep in mind, you can spray this throughout the day as a makeup refresher and you're gonna have that nice scent so if fragrance doesn't bother you then I would definitely try and pick one of these up I believe they had about four or five different scents in these two other products that Milani just released are eyebrow products and guys I loved these I really love the way my eyebrows came out I think they look like really natural and guys you all know that I struggle with my eyebrows I've been struggling to grow them out for a year now and every day that I do my makeup I always wonder how are my eyebrows going to come out because if my eyebrows don't come out right then the makeup is just not gonna come out right but I really enjoyed using these two new products um, the first one that I went in with was the precision brow pencil and this is just like a micro 
eyebrow pencil, a little fine liner, and of course you have the spoolie on the end. Um, in both of these, guys, I picked up the shade Soft Brown, 130 Soft Brown. And I think that um, that shade, what do you guys think? I think it looks really nice, really complimentary. Looks pretty natural on my eyebrows. Um, this other one is the Weekend Brow. This is also in the shade um, Soft Brown. And this one is more of a liner style. You can see like that, like a marker tip, I should say. And this is like, I think this is only the second like kind of marker style eyebrow product that I have. I just, I could, I felt like I could never use them before because I had really sparse brows and it just, it wasn't coming out right. But now that my brows have a little bit more hair to them, they're a little bit more fuller, especially this one right here. Like, gosh, I wish my left one could look like my right one. Um, but I did enjoy using this and I thought it made really nice, fine hair-like strokes. So guys, if you have brows similar to mine, I would definitely pick up these two two new Milani eyebrow products. From everything that I got, these are definitely the standout performers of the bunch. The next thing I got that's not a new product, but it's just new to me, I picked up another one of the Rose Powder Blushes, and this one is in the shade Wild Rose. I have the shade um, Coral Cove in my collection, and I love using that, especially this time of year. And so I wanted to get one of these. They are so pigmented, guys. You just need a very little bit, and it's going to blend so well onto your cheekbones. And I even took it up just a little bit on the sides of my face, kind of like towards my temples. I love it. I love these powder blushes. I think that is my favorite Milani product. They're blushes. The, the rose petal ones and the baked powder blushes, those are awesome. So if you're interested in buying anything from Milani, if you've never tried Milani before, I would definitely start with one of the blushes and maybe these new eyebrow products um, that I tried out today. Those are winners in my book. The last thing that I picked up, and this is a new Milani product, this is the Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayon, and I picked up the shade Truth or Dare, and as you can see, it's this beautiful red shade that I have right here. It's kind of like a reddish orange shade, maybe kind of like a little coral. It was really easy to apply. It is in a lip crayon form, kind of like a pencil form, um, really creamy and smooth. And it says that it's matte, but I don't feel like it's a heavy matte. It's definitely not like a thick matte formula. It's a very comfortable matte formula on the lips. And I really like it. It kind of does have like a little bit of a shine to it. And I think you could definitely add the mango coconut lip balm on top of it just to give it um, an added shine. It had several different shades in these lip crayons to choose from. This is the only one I got and I just love a fun pop of red, especially this time of year. So guys, that was my little Milani haul trying out the new Gilded Jewel eyeshadow palette as well as some new eyebrow products and some items from the Fruit Fetish collection. What did you guys think of today's video? What did you think of the looks? What products are you wanting to get? What are you going to stay clear of? Definitely leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed watching today's video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up, guys. That helps me out so much. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water. Cheers, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.